Hi everyone, so today is Friday and I am coming today to announce my giveaway and um, well the opening of my giveaway and to show you all all the gifts that I'm going to be giving away. Now, um, before I get too far into showing items, I'm going to um, announce the, I'm going to do the rules first and then I'm going to show you all the items so um, the whole purpose if you have not watched my last um, couple videos that I did um, I had mentioned one in one of them that I was going to do a giveaway to celebrate my 25th birthday so yeah it might be a shock to some of you um, who actually didn't know my age or who thought I was older than what I was because I get that um, from time to time some people think I'm 28 29 years old sometimes and no I'm just 24 right now <laughs> um, and I'm going to be celebrating my 25th birthday on the 14th of January or of this month which is six weeks so I'm excited about it um because I don't really know how it would feel to be 25 I mean I'm pretty sure it's not going to be much too different from any other age you know um but it's 25 you know so I want to celebrate um so um in order to give to get into this giveaway and to be a winner, one you have to be a subscriber to my channel. Two, you will have to write in the comment section, "Enter me," and you don't have to worry about entering two, three, four, twenty times a day or whatever. Just enter one time, and what I'm gonna do is. I'm just going to automatically give everyone two entries. So if you enter once, that's all you have to do. I'm just going to automatically give you two entries. So that's all. That's how I'm going to do that. Um, so that way you'll have a little bit of a greater chance at winning. So... Um, Yeah, I think that's it for the rules. And also, if you are going to be entering into this, please make sure you are going to be very, very serious about this. And, I mean, the reason why I say that, you know, is because I would hate to send somebody something that they either, one, not going to use. Um, I would hate to send somebody something that they're not, um, or that they don't like. Um, so if you like all the items or whatever, or, you know, even if you don't want all the items, I mean, just tell me and I won't put it into the box. You know, once I announce the winner, um, just let me know what items you don't want if you aren't wanting to get those items. So this is what I have to put into the giveaway. Um. I showed these items here. I have this yarn storage bag here, which you can put your yarn in when you're out traveling or even when you're just in home at home. You can just put your little ball or cake of yarn in. Um, and they'll help keep, you know, hair and stuff from getting on your um yarn and um a little easy storage place two for it and it's not rolling everywhere so um I have that have this little mini purse that you can use for change or money purposes if you are a crafter or whatever and you need some extra space to put some other stuff in you can put sewing needles your yarn needles um whatever it may be if you need an extra makeup bag, um, you can put lip gloss, lipstick, little tweezers in here, or whatever it is that you want to put in. That's what you can use this bag for. This 
giving you some ideas. You have this little compact mirror here. Now, I don't think you can ever go wrong with a compact mirror, you know, because most of the time, ladies, if you go into the bathroom, the first place you look at is in the mirror sometimes. Check your face out and your hair, whatever it may be, looking at your clothes. So, I mean, you can't look at too much with it, but, I mean, it's something you can have in your purse if you need to fix your face or whatever it is you may use it for. Um, so, those were the items that I was going to um, put in here, along with items that I cleaned out, or yarn that I cleaned out for my yarn stash. So, I have some cotton yarns, and I'm going to be giving away these um, peaches and cream, pink and orange. Now, I'm not going to say I don't like cotton yarn. I can work with it. I just don't work with it that often to even say I like it, you know, or to say that, you know, I love it pretty much. Um, so I'm going to be giving these two away. I have two skeins of Big Lots in the Loop yarn. These are fine weight yarns. So if you want to double these up together, um, or if you want to double them up with another yarn, or if you happen to have these colors or Big Lots in your area that sell these, this is a start to have or whatnot. Um, so you got those two. And like I said, these are fine weight yarn. And this is another yarn that's uh, um, fine weight. This is a two-ply yarn. It just has some um, other fibers from some other yarn on it. But I have not used this. This was something that was given to me. Or skin that was given to me, and I just never used it. So have that, and it's sport sport yarn. Okay, and then I have red heart, not red heart, Vanna Glamour. I have Vanna's Glamour. This is a two number two yarn or a fine weight yarn, and this was just an extra. Um, of yarn that I had purchased and it's been sitting around um, for a little bit but you know I was going to use it but then again I decided to just go ahead and give it away so we'll get that you will get this skein of Red Heart Bikini yarn I had actually bought this on clearance um, a while ago and I just never really used it. So you'll get this. And you'll also get two skeins of bulky weight yarn. Now this, it does not have the actual fiber. It does not have the yardage. And I don't know either of those. So the yardage you can probably try to figure out on your own. I'm not sure if you can um, look it up or what. Um, I'm going to try to go back and see if I can find this particular yarn and what, um, what fiber it is. I'm not sure because I got it in a kit that I had. So you will probably have enough to probably make a hat with. I'm not sure, like an adult size hat. Maybe, um, I'm not sure if it'll be enough, um, with just one skein of this yarn to make a adult size hat but you can try but you'll get both of these here I'm not sure if it's going to be enough to even do a scarf with either um, or do like a bulky weight um, ear warmer so or leg warmers or wristers whatever the case may be um, once you figure out the yardage if that's something that you want to do 
Um, so you'll get these two. And that's pretty much it um, for the yarn that you will be getting. Now, like I said, if you don't work with fine weight yarn and you don't want the fine weight yarns, which are the in the loop yarns from Big Lots, this Vanna's Glamour, and this um, Red Heart Sport Yarn. It's okay. When I announce the winner, whoever the winner is, if you decide that you don't want it, um, you can let me know when I message you to get your contact information or whatever, um, or your mailing information, rather. Um, you can let me know if you don't want the fine weight yarns. If you don't use cotton, you can let me know. Um, and I can see if I, will, I, I can get something else in place of those items because I do want you to have a nice size item I do want you to have enough yarn for a certain project that you may want to make or whatever the case may be so um, I want you to get something <laughs> pretty much um, for helping me celebrate my birthday um, so yeah those like I said those are just some of the yarns that I plan to give away right now at this moment. But if you are a winner and you don't like something here or you just prefer to have something over the other or whatnot, just let me know. I mean, it's, it's no biggie. No biggie at all. Um, now, the rules, like I said, be a subscriber. And in the comment section down below, write enter me and please by all means if you really want to get this please be very serious about it and you know let me know after you get it if you can use these items because I would just really hate to send something to somebody and they just you know they're not using it or they don't like it at all so just let me know if you don't want something or whatever the case may be. Um, now when I get ready to announce the winner, I will do my best to get the item sent out to you as soon as I can. Now, we all have things that happen at times. Um, I have been a winner of certain items and I've never received my item from the person. I've been in giveaways on Facebook and here on YouTube. Um, and it was just probably um, probably one giveaway on Facebook that I had entered into and I never received my item from the person. And so that just kind of made me feel some type of way about entering into giveaways too. Um, so I want to be able to keep in contact, you know, with you. So if you are, um, if I message you and say, okay, um, I'm sorry, but I'm not able to send your item out right now at this moment. It will be sent out the next week, you know. That will be the only reason why I will, you know, write you a, a message or whatever. So I, I do want to make sure I have your contact information so I can get in touch with you. Most of you are friends of mine on Facebook. Um, I follow most of you all on um, Google+. Plus. So if I can look you up there or whatever the case may be or just message you through YouTube, I will do that to let you know if I'm having some complications with sending your items out. Most of the time, my work schedule will not allow me to be able to go and get to the post office in time or whatever so if I have one of those crazy work schedule weeks within the next couple of weeks and I can't get to the post office um, myself and my daughter has you know some things going on with the doctors 
So um, nothing too serious, just some, you know, appointments that we have to just go to to make sure everything is okay. Um, I'm just going to have to kind of work around everything else right now that is planned. Um, and things that may come up, I might have to work around them. So um, just be patient with me. And like I said, I'm going to do my best to keep in contact with you to let you know what's going on. Because I would hate to say, you know, so-and-so is a winner. But, you know, I have your contact information, but I'm not sending you your winnings. I would hate that, you know. Um, so, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. So, from today until next Friday, I am going to be celebrating my birthday with doing this giveaway um so that's about it for all of the items here that i'm going to be putting into the giveaway box and like i said it might be something extra in the box i'm not sure just of yet um so if it is something in there that you know i put in something extra i hope you all can use it i hope you like it and good luck with the giveaway um and you can only you only really need to enter one time just say enter me and what i'm going to do with that i'm going to be giving everyone two entries so you will have your well i'll give you one extra entry so you just hit enter me one time i'm sorry write enter me in the comment section down below and then I will give you an extra entry on top of that. So if everybody is in agreement with that, hit the like button <laughs> and comment down below so that I can know you are wanting to be into this giveaway and wanting to participate. So um, that's pretty much it for that. Now I do have some projects that I am wanting to show you all. So I'm going to try to do that real quick because I have to get ready to go to work in about 15, 20 minutes. So um, it's two hats that I finished. Um, this is an old hat. Well, not an old hat. But I did this hat like last year, I think. And I'm going to wear it today because it's pretty cold out. So this first hat that I have... Um, this is a hat done by, well, the original designer is Yolanda Soto Lopez. And I'm going to see if I can get some better lighting in here. Because the lighting where I am right now, it comes and goes sometimes. So, okay. So, this is the hat. It is called the Crisscross. Um, puff stitch hat and I had made this hat um, two years ago I believe two, two and a half years ago and just to talk a little bit about this hat this yarn I use Red Heart with Love I'm just now getting into using Red Heart with Love and I love that yarn I really do um, do I like it better than Red Heart Super Saver? I think I just might. I think I do. But I still love my Red Heart Super Saver yarn. So I'm not doing away with my Super Saver. I'm still going to be using that. And I'm going to be getting, you know, some with love. And the only reason why I love the Red Heart with love, um, to me, it just feels so much softer. It really does. I love it. So, um, yeah. Um, I was doing this pattern and I kind of noticed something was going on with the top of the hat. Now, I'm not trying to criticize Yolanda's work at all because she does absolutely great work when it comes to crocheting and knitting and coming up with these patterns that she has. So, I'm not saying it's her fault. I'm not putting that out there. She does good work. If you have not subscribed to Yolanda So Too Lopez channel, 
please do so. I'll put the link down below so you can go and subscribe to it and watch her tutorials because she does great work. She really does. Now, with me, when I was making this hat this time around, I just kind of noticed something was going on with the hat. And I kept trying to follow the tutorial, making sure, you know, rewinding it back, making sure I was counting right and doing the stitches right and stuff. And I don't know if it was just, it might just be a tension thing with me. That's what I'm thinking. Because from time to time, I notice that my tension does get a little tight. Sometimes it's a little loose. So, and sometimes it's just right. It really is. So, it might just be my tension that um, kind of made this hat look the way it did. Not saying that anything is wrong with it because I feel like I do good work too. You know, I might mess up here and there. Even though I've been crocheting and knitting since about 2009, I think, 2009, 2010. Something like that, you know. So, I mean, I consider myself to be um, a advanced beginner, slight intermediate level, you know. But, um, I mean, I still like the way it came out. It just, to me, it just kind of has this little um, thing going on as if I did some decreasing up here. But I didn't. I used the pattern did the pattern the same way Yolanda did it um because when I got to like the second or third row here or round rather I kind of noticed that the edges kind of did this little ruffle or um did like a little ruffle or crinkle looking thing or whatever um but like I said it came out good and I had made this for somebody, and I'm hoping that it fits her really well. Because I know she was saying when she was talking to me, she was asking um, me if I could make it in like an extra large size. So it should fit her. I used the um, K hook. So if I need to go back and use like a J hook or something like that, or um, just use the K hook but take out some rows or add some extra rows in. I will do that as well. But to me, it looks like it's going to fit fine. Because it, it does have some stretch in it. So it should fit her good. Because um, even the one that I made for my mom, it was just a little, um, it looked like a little slouchy hat, you know, on her. Um and I know everybody head size is different, so to others it might fit like a, a beanie wood kind of tight. Um, and then on others it might, like I said, it might fit loose and look like a little slouchy head or whatever, you know. But I love, love, love this yarn and I love this pattern. And I just want to come and show you all how it looks. And I'm kind of stretching it out a little bit too, so... Yeah, um, but what I am thinking about doing is going to Joanne's and get some silk and putting on the inside of this hat to line it. But I need to watch some YouTube videos first um, before I go and get this um, fabric or whatever. And the only reason why I want to get this, um, get the fabric to put on the inside is because... Um, one, I wanted to be able to protect the um, person's hair. And I think I want to start doing that with all of my hats. Um, and I don't want, you know, a bunch of hair just collecting up in the inside of the hat. So, because um, we know all with yarn, it can get fuzzy. It can collect um, lint, hair, whatever the case may be. So, I don't want the inside of the hat to look crazy. Um, I'm also going to be looking for some labels to put on these as well, some care labels, um, so that they will know, people will know how to take care of their items at home, because my items that I have, I've had two years straight now, they still look like the, or a year, I've had them over a year now, and they still look like they did when I first made them. That's because I'm taking care of them. 
that everything is going into Ziploc bags. When I wash most of my items, I wash them inside out. So the inside or the outside, inside of the hat will actually be on the outside when I wash it. And I'm hand washing most of my items. Sometimes I do throw them into the washer. Sometimes I put them into the dryer. Sometimes I just let things lay out straight, flat, you know, on a table or whatever, and let them dry that way. But I'm never rough and doing a lot of agitation and stuff like that when I'm washing my items. Never. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I do plan to line this hat um, or whatever. I might make another hat and just kind of show her uh, what I'm planning to do with it and see how she likes it if she wants the lining or don't want the lining and I'm also making the cowl to go with this as well too um, and I added some extra stitches to that one made it a little bit longer to fit her because of her her body size you know um, I didn't know for sure if the original one would actually fit her or not because I did not want it to be too tight up here um, on her so I just kind of made it a little bit looser well made it a little bit um, wider and then I guess once I put the buttons on she can kind of you know kind of button it up wherever she wants and then fold the top of it down so it kind of fits a little bit better around her neck or she can pull it up and you know wear it almost like a cow so um or you know like a circular type cowl that doesn't really fold down so um i just have to sew the ends in on here and i'm gonna look up some youtube videos and like i said i might make another hat um for her just so i can have two and kind of go by if you want the um lining or don't want the lining so the second hat that i have this is um, Karen One Pound yarn. And I love that one. I like that yarn too. I'm not going to say I love it, but I like that yarn too. Um, I have, like like I said, the Karen Big Pound or One Pound. Um, that one has been with me for a little bit over a year now. And I was trying to make another project. It was supposed to be a shawl. I was going to make for one of my aunts who was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer around the time I had my daughter. And the shawl just looked like it was doing this lopsided thing. Like it had one edge that was going up straight. Then the other edge just looked like it was just going into outer space somewhere. Like I don't, I don't even know where it was doing, what it was doing. It's just when I held it up, I could just see that edge, you know. And luckily I didn't get like too, too far. I probably did about 15 to 30 rows, maybe. I'm just guessing because I don't know. I was just doing the stitch. But as I counted through each row and the stitches or whatever, I counted them as I went. It seemed like I was doing the pattern right. But it's just the look of it. It just looked like it was going, you know, kind of lopsided. But the actual picture um, that I saw of it it was straight you know it did not have no kind of fancy work done to it or nothing it was just a rectangular straight um, piece that you know would have just easily draped around you so I don't know what was going on with that other side that just looked like it was just doing whatever it wanted to do so I just took that a loop and I added um, I'm sorry, took the shawl a loose, um, frogged that, and then I started making this pattern here, which I used my end hook, which is my 9 millimeter. This was the first time I've used this hook in God knows how long. So, this hat I thought was going to fit um, a little loose and be too little. Well, not loose, but fit too little for me. Um, or for an adult, I thought maybe it was going to be for a child and it might be able to fit, you know, a child size head, um, as well. But, um, I would say if I was to do this um, pattern for a smaller person, I would probably go down 
to the next size. Um, I have an L hook, so I would probably mess around with my L hook if I if this particular hat was too small for a child or whatnot. Um, and then if the person's head was a little bit bigger, I would probably uh, continue to do the shell or cluster stitches and the rib stitches. Just continue to make it, you know, a little bit longer um, lengthwise from the crown of the head down to the bottom of the ear um, or just about to the bottom of the ear. And then I would do the band. And the band is just pretty much doing like a continuous, um, continuous um, single crochet rows. That's pretty much what it is. So that way you're not really seeing the um, closing of the band here. Um, but like I said, it came out good. If you all can see that. And I use my end hook and one strand of yarn. That was it. And that's what the pattern calls for. So um, even though this video is being uploaded um, or has been uploaded at this moment, you may not see the description and stuff right now, but I will come back and I will put the links um, down in the description. Um, about, I will put the rules up for my giveaway um, in there as well. So that if you just so happen to skim over those, they'll be in the description box for you to look at. So those are the two hats here that I've made within the last day or so. I just finished this one this morning. I finished this one last night, late last night. I finished this one. So those are my two hats there. Um... And like I said, this one here is going to somebody else. Um, somebody who contacted me and asked me to make them a set. Now, I actually have another person who asked me to make them a matching set for, a mat matching pink set for her and her daughter. So, hopefully I can make the right size for the child. Because um, I know the child is like, you know, 3T or 4T, possibly. Um, so around 3, 4 years old or whatnot. So hopefully it'll be a good size for her um, and her daughter. So that's pretty much it. So I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to go ahead and get ready for work. And I will see you guys. Well, I'm ready for work, but I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff so I can leave. And I'll talk to you guys later. So, see you soon. Bye-bye.